Hey guys, so it's the 19th of October 2022 and I don't know what college I'm going to yet but I do know the city it's going to be in and I'm moving in like four days. I know, it's crazy. So as you might have guessed, there's a lot of stuff to be done before I leave which I've naturally left for the very last moment. And it's not even my fault because it's just now starting to hit me that I might actually have to leave. I don't know how to explain this, but holy shit. So yesterday I sat down to make a list of everything I'm gonna have to do in the next four days. And to start it all off, I firstly need to pack or at least start packing. I don't think packing clothes is going to be a huge trouble for me. I'm mostly taking winter clothes because winter is coming and I have a very selected collection of winter clothes that I like to wear every year. But as you might have noticed in literally every other previous video of mine, I own way too much shit that mostly comprises of stationery and as a sentimental hoarder, I'm proud of it. But I'm starting to realize that it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass having to make the littlest decision of whether I wanna take a particular thing with me or not. If I could, I'd pack my entire room with me but sadly, I cannot and I have to fit everything I'm going to take in two little suitcases, which is going to be a challenge to say for the very least. Let's see how well I can do it. I know you come as you please, still I wait so patiently, your kiss is so I think by far the most difficult thing to leave behind is gonna be my ukulele. I could take it if I wanted to but I'm just scared that if I take it there and somebody asks me to play something I'll not be able to and I'll make a fool of myself. For the rest of the afternoon, I'm gonna try to finish reading this book that I borrowed from my friend Anandita so that I can return it to her before I go. It's an English translation of the Hindi classic Gunaho Ka Devta by Dharmveer Bharti. And I won't say it's nostalgic because I wasn't born in the 1940s but like the historical setting is so cool it reminds me of an old Bollywood film and whenever I'm reading it I try to imagine the scenes as if they were in a black and white movie with like retro sound quality and it's really cool I'm about 150 pages in right now can I read the rest of it in like the next three hours let's find out Hey guys, um, it's the next day and I didn't finish reading the book, but I do know what college I might be going to. You can say by the stupid smile on my face that it's something that I wanted, but I'm not going to tell you yet. That's going to require a separate whole new video. Anyway, I'm going to the dentist right now because I have an appointment and that's my last appointment before I leave. He's going to tell me when I can get my braces taken off and everything. I was hoping I could get them off before I left for college, but that's not happening anymore. It's going to be up for another month or so. After that, I might also go to get my eyebrows done. They've become very messy and bushy and I have a unibrow situation as well. The lady who did my eyebrows was so nice. She massaged some aloe gel on them because it turned really red and it felt so nice as if I was receiving a head massage. Okay, now people are seeing me and I'm getting awkward and vlogging in public is really very difficult. I'm gonna go home now. Moving vlog. Moving vlog. Hmm. Finally. Finally. Zamane baad. Cutie. Dog. 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 Good 
morning guys it's actually afternoon as of this morning today it has officially started to settle in that i'm leaving the day after tomorrow and it's freaking me out everything is just so overwhelming right now there's a lot of college decision stuff going on at the same time there's all this packing and most of all mentally preparing myself to leave i don't know maybe i'm being a little too dramatic about this this is obviously not the last time that i'm going to be in my room in my house i'm obviously going to come back the first chance i get but it's still the end of an era and i guess that counts for something anyway my overly sentimental state of mind aside right now i'm actually packing gifts it was my friend ojeshita's birthday a few days back and i'm going to celebrate it with her when i go over there also it's my friend aditi's birthday at the end of this month but sadly i won't be here to celebrate it with her i really wanted to but i can't so i'm just going to wrap her gift right now and go over to one of our mutual friends and give it to her so that she can give it to aditi on her birthday and she can have my gift even though i won't be there Last task for today taking out photocopies of all these documents this is going to be a lot of work Let's go out you and me on the old road west county take my hand shop and see only get pay i want me we can go cool. i can drive listen to the tracks and find we can make it we'll survive don't be my be sleep to ride I've been keeping myself busy this entire morning. I've been packing and unpacking and repacking and cross-checking every 2 minutes if there's anything else that I need to keep because if I don't then I'll instantly start crying while realizing the fact that I'm leaving tomorrow and I've already cried thrice this morning and I don't want to anymore because I don't know if it's normal to feel this emotional for moving out. I watched a bunch of vlogs online about moving out for college and people seem pretty chill in those and that made me question all my feelings because I've been having a lot of them lately in case it wasn't super obvious but it feels like I'm saying goodbye to a part of me like I'm leaving behind this version of me that used to live here it feels like I'm saying goodbye to my childhood before I even want to it's so strange that our session got delayed so much and i constantly kept whining about the fact that college should have started by now and our first semester would have been over by now if it started on the right time and i want to go to college i can't take this anymore and now that it's actually happening i'm feeling like not so soon i need a little more time but i think this is going to be a consistent feeling from now on anyway right now i'm just sitting in my balcony the wind is kind of nice here and i'm going to stay here for a little more while i think i have packed everything that i'm going to need but i'm still constantly having this stupid fear that there's something that i've left behind this always happens while i'm traveling i don't know what to do about it and once i go back down i'm going to bake a cake for my sister it's a little tradition we have that whenever we are visiting family we bake a cake for them and i think it's really cute the cake came out so beautiful and it smells delicious i mean j'aime sentir la musique je peux sentir le jazz ça, ça me fait quelque chose et la musique classique ça fait quelque chose en fait mon la la musique classique c'est pour la tête un peu et le jazz c'est pour le corps the best thing about traveling is snacks and snacks without guilt 
गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज इट्स एट एम ऑन द डे दर एम सपोज टू लीव एंड आई रियलाइज देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स दर आई रोट डाउन इन माई टू डू लिस्ट दर आई वॉज जस्ट नॉट एबल टू डू बिकॉज इज इज नॉट इन अफ टाइम एनी मोर राइट नाउ गो टेक अ शावर हैव अ लिटिल क्राई फ्रेश एंड देन कम बैक एंड गेट रेडी I packed the sandwiches. I showered. It's 9:30 right now, and our train is at about 11:45 or 11:50. But we leave by 10 only because we are overly punctual. I'm trying this new trick where I live in denial about something until it actually happens. So since yesterday, I haven't been thinking about the fact that I'm leaving today. I'm just thinking that I'm going on a vacation with my family because everyone is going. But it's going to hit me soon, and it's going to be bad. The auto is here. We are about to leave in like five minutes, but I just wanted to be in my room for one more time. This is the first room that I had all to myself. I've lived here for more than six years now, and it has seen so many versions of me. I'm deeply attached to this place. I've literally grown from a 12-year-old heart attack obsessed introverted child to an angsty teen trying to find a passion in life to a little more confident. a little less awkward but equally at the tack of sales the delt that i am right now all in this room it has seen me at my best and at my worst there have been times when i would not get out of my room for days straight and still somehow not lose my sanity i've changed this place up so much in the last 6 years customizing every little corner to my taste this room has and will always have a big big chunk of my heart and i'm really sad that i won't be living here anymore As I sat in the train watching my hometown and along with it the last bits of my childhood fade out before my eyes I felt a mixture of a lot of different feelings that I'll never have words for bubbling up in my chest. I felt overwhelmed and anxious and excited and nervous all at the same time because at the end of this train journey a whole new journey was awaiting me one which I could never be totally ready for. Our train got delayed by almost 7 hours and 2 days after reaching Delhi I actually visited the campus of the college I'm going to. I've already told some of you guys where I'm going who asked me about it on Instagram but I'll try to make a video about it too. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe some of you who are moving out as well could find it relatable. Thanks for watching either way. I'll hopefully see you again soon. I don't have a laptop to edit on right now so unfortunately I can't be on a tight video schedule but I'm still going to try. Love you all so much and see you next time. Bye.